Today we're going to talk about Y connections and we're going to show it in a diagram form and then the actual transformer connections on the bottom. So let's start with the primary side and tie, let's tie our H2 bushings together. Now after you tie them together, sometimes they may or may not go to ground. It depends on your secondary connection. But you tie the H2, to H2 bushings together. Now for each H1 bushing, uh, we're going to run those out to phases. And I'm going to change colors and we'll label them. A phase, B phase, and C phase. But look at the M, what the shape it made. It actually looks like a Y, which is where it gets its name, a Y connection. It's an upside down Y, but it's still a Y. So let's move down to the bottom and do our actual connections on the transformers. And uh, once again, we'll tie our H2 bushings together and may or may not go to ground. And then our H1s are each going to go up to a phase. All right. So we got A phase, B phase, and C phase. So with a Y connection, you're doing a phase to ground connection. Um, with the transformers, you have to have a potential difference across the coil in order for it to work. And there's one of two ways to do this, either a phase-to-phase -phase connection or a phase-to-ground, like we're doing here with a Y connection. Now let's move over to the right, and we'll do the secondary connections. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to tie our X2 bushings together. And with the X2 bushings, after you tie them together, it always goes to ground. And then your X1s are going to be your hot legs that go out for that service voltage. So we'll label those with an H for each one because they're hot legs. Also, notice the, what uh, it looks like in a diagram form. It looks like that Y connection, or like, that, like the shape of a capital Y, which is where it gets its name. All right, let's move down to the bottom to the actual transformer connections. And we're going to take our X2s and tie them together and then go to ground. And then those X1s are going to come straight down and those are going to be our hot legs. Okay. Now something I want to talk about with a Y secondary connection. Now if you notice, we've only used two of the secondary bushings right here. I'm going to circle them. We're only using two of the secondary bushings. That third bushing, you know, put an X through it, um, it's just going to remain idle and it's not even going to be utilized. Well, when you do that, when you're only utilizing two of the secondary bushings, you need to parallel the secondary coils together. If you don't parallel the secondary coils together, then you're not going to get to utilize the full KVA rating of the transformers. So if you look over here on the left, and I'm going to circle it, notice that those coils have taps that are going down to each of the three bushings. So we're tying into all three bushings, and that would utilize the full KVA rating if you're using all three bushings. But on the right-hand side, we're only using two of the bushings. So in order to get the full KVA rating of that transformer, you've got to parallel those transformers, or parallel the secondary coils together. That way you utilize that full KVA rating. All right, that's it for, uh, for what a Y connection is and what it looks like in a diagram form, and then also connected on the transformers.